If I could talk to the animals, just imagine it chatting with chimp and chimp. I think so too. I think it's time we talk about how animals talk to animals. What a neat achievement it would be if we could talk to the animals. Parrots are probably the most vocal ambassadors for animal communication since they have the ability to talk like humans. But this is because parrots learn to communicate in much the same way humans do, by mimicking the sound of their parrot peers. In the wild, these guys will learn a new song every time they enter a new flock of parrots in order to show that they're part of the group. And when they're with humans, they learn our songs by mimicking our voices. Many animals, including humans, use sounds to communicate with each other. Birds sing songs to define territories and look for mates. Crickets rapidly scrape their wings together to sing to their lady friends. And whales, too, sing songs to communicate to other whales. Prairie dogs live in big social groups and they have the language skills to match. When a scientist recently broke down the prairie dog warning calls, they found that a prairie dog can give the size, shape, color, and distance of a potential predator in their yips. Even the tiniest animals are capable of complex communication. Take honeybees, for example. This honeybee goes out in the morning looking for flowers and returns to the hive after finding some sweet, sweet nectar. To tell his bee friends where to look for more, it does an elaborate dance, explaining the distance and direction relative to the sun. They also dance to explain where to find water or new nest sites. Ants also have to talk to each other, but they're terrible dancers. Instead, they use pheromones. Pheromones are special scents that can communicate past the food, tell another ant your position in the colony, let the other ants know if you're being eaten by an anteater, and even mark off places that are off limits. When an ant is waving its antennas around, it's smelling the pheromones all around to get in on the conversation. Even when some animals use communication, we might not hear it. Bullfrogs use what's called seismic communication, sound waves that travel through water or soil rather than air. They dig into the ground before croaking, which lets other bullfrogs in the area know where they are through tiny earthquakes. Crocodiles use this method for communication as well. They billow and rumble, but we can only hear a tiny part. Cuttlefish are mollusks that use colors to communicate. They can change the pattern on their skin with something called chromatophores. They say a remarkable amount using only Red-eared sliders wave their hands to say I love you. Bearded dragons bob their heads to say don't mess with me. Fireflies flash a bioluminescent rump. And cats seriously communicate using really slow blinking. The list goes on and on. Animals have a huge range of communication and we've only just scraped the surface. Thanks for watching Defenders. We hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to watch next week's episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also click the link below to learn more. See you guys later.